Hi, I'm Sarah and this is my model Paige. And we're gonna be doing a glam smoky look on her. She's going to a concert tonight, so let's get started. So the first step on contouring is you're gonna to wanna to choose for her, she's a very fair skin tone. So we're gonna go, gonna go with a shade that's one to two shades lighter than her natural skin tone so that it looks natural. Whenever you're doing contouring, it's supposed to be just so that it brings out those features and is very flattering but natural looking. So if you want to do something more dramatic, you would use a cream product, but for any beginner, I would definitely recommend a powder product. So going into the lightest shade here in the Kat Von D palette, I'm just going to take the powder onto a fluffy ang angular brush, something like this, and just rinse it. We're going to start from the midpoint in the ear. So right where you feel that bone there, where the hollow is, you're just going to follow that line and just gently sweep the powder. As you can see, just doing that brings out her cheekbone ever so beautifully. You can always use a light hand. You can always build it up, but it's a lot easier to add product than to take product away. And I go to about the midpoint in the cheek right here. You want to brush into the hairline so that there's no harsh lines. And then same on this side. So if you're having trouble finding the bone, just have your model do the fishy face. Fishy, fishy face. Perfect. <laughs> and then same there. Dabbing with a little bit of product, brushing off any excess. And just going to the midpoint of the cheek again. And for the perimeter of the face, I'm just going to do the same thing and then just go lightly into the hairline. This is also great if you're like me and have a five head. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes, but that's one of the things that contouring is great at is minimizing any areas where you want to. Bring it in a bit more, so like your forehead, sides of the face. And during the day too, you can do a little bit of contouring on the jawline. Just nothing too heavy because obviously you don't want any telltale signs that you've been contouring. So just very lightly. And then just go along the jawline and just slightly up onto the cheek. Same thing under the chin. And then literally, literally just using the extra product that's on there left from doing the cheek contour. Just so that it looks as natural as possible. And then if you want, you can always contour the nose. So if you're doing this, I would recommend a fluffy brush, something like this. Just going into that lightest shade again. Tapping off any excess, and then just going down either sides of the nose, very lightly. And then with the other end here, or any fluffy brush, just blend that line. And then also to shorten the nose and give more of that cute pug-like nose effect, just go right under the tip here. And Marilyn Monroe would actually do this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Okay. And if, say, you weren't as fair as Paige or I, we would also do a highlight. So using the lightest shade here, you could just take the highlight and obviously go on the tops of the cheekbones, any, any part of the face where you want to stand out, middle of the nose, and also cheekbone around the chin and a little on the forehead. Okay, so next we're gonna do eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I'm going to be using, actually, the Soft Glam palette, 
and you can always use a pencil or a gel product but powder is going to look the most natural or be the easiest to use if you're a novice to using brow products. So I'm going to use an angled brush here. So just something that's preferably synthetic and flat. And going into the darkest shade, which is Cypress Umber. I'm just going to take that on either side of the brush, tapping gently. And then starting right on the bottom of her eyebrow here, I'm just going to go up very light strokes throughout. It's a great color too for warm brunettes because it does have a warmth to this brown shade. So I'm just following the brow and just gently swiping the brush through. Still using the same amount of product that I put on there originally. And also if you're looking to fill in your brows, if say you don't have an already beautiful full shape like Paige here, you would start from the dip in your nose and go straight up. That's going to be where your brow should ideally start. And then the arch will be from the corner of your nose directly through your pupil. So right here will be the arch. And then the tail is going to end just right from the corner of your nose to the side of your eye right here. So I did add a little bit more product because the tail can always be the darkest part. We just never want to go too dark in the front because then that can look too heavy or manly in some cases. <laughs> we do not want. So again, I'm just using very light pressure and just doing light strokes going towards the front of the brow. And whatever product is left on the brush, I'm just going to take that and very lightly bring it through the front here just to make sure it's not too boxy. Just lifting the brush up. Just like that. I'm just going to do the same to the other eyebrow. Eyebrows are always something that take practice, so remember that they're usually sisters, not twins. I'm trying to make them like twins, but sometimes they're just sisters, and that's okay. <laughs> Also, if you get outside the lines at all, or if you want to clean up that brow, we can do that after with a little bit of concealer. You can also use a spoolie to brush out any excess product. I'm trying to say extra and excess at the same time. <laughs> Either way, same thing. Any leftover product in there, you want to just want to disperse it a little more evenly. And a spoolie is perfect for that. And just in the front here, since it's a little more sparse on this side than this side, I'm just going to do very gentle, very light strokes using what's left on the brush.
So after that, we're just going to clean up a little bit outside the brow. So we'll be using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And just using a very small amount. We don't want it to look too blocked out. Just enough product just to clean up. Just tapping it on there. Going to an Anastasia Synthetic Concealer Brush. And to get a little excess off of my hand, I'm just going to go right around the brow like so. It's also good just to make sure that these both line up, the brows right here. So you can just take it straight across from this side, go to the middle, and right over here to make sure that they're even. This also helps you with that nice sharp end like that. Okay, so the next step is going to be blush and highlight. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay, what is this, Jean Michael Basquiat palette. I'm not butchering that name. We're going to start with the blush. So I'm actually going to be using an angled brush. An angled blush brush from Sephora. We're going to go into the shade Jawbone mixed with a little bit of X rated just to help make it not quite as warm. I'm going to tap off any excess and just and smile. And we're going to go from the apple of the cheek here and just brush right into the contour so that it blends. And again with blush, always use a light hand. You can always add more. Smiling like that is going to help make sure that the blush is in the right spot where it's supposed to be. Some people apply it too low. You want to apply it just on the apples there and brush it gently into the hairline. Just to fuse the contour and highlight and everything all together. And I'm just very lightly sweeping and dabbing the product. And just turn it to the page. Perfect. So you can see right there. Everything's just nicely blended together and looks natural. And next, we're going to do the highlight. So using this highlight brush, anything that's kind of tapered and still fluffy like this, going to the shade now is the time. Uh, here is where the bone protrudes. We're going to apply the highlight right along there and then just bring it into the hairline. When you apply the highlight up this way, it's going to bring the face up as opposed to making it look like everything's kind of coming down. It's all about placement with makeup. Look at that glow. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle baby, sparkle. Come. <laughs> now, anywhere else you want to apply the highlight, just be using smaller fluffy brush here. Just taking that, I'm just gonna go over to the brow bone here. Slightly dusting that right where the arch is. Back and forth. A little down the center of the nose. A little on the cupid's bow. Also, help your lips appear fuller. And right on the chin. And corner of the eyes. Now 
Okay. So next step, best step, is the eyes. So I've already done the foundation and concealer on Paige's eyes, also powdered. So we're all ready for the eye makeup. We'll be using the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And first we'll be going into the transition shade. So I'll be using uh, orange soda. Orange soda, yes. <laughs> Yummy. So just tapping into there. And with any of the eyeshadow palettes by Anastasia, it's you need a very little bit of product. They're very pigmented. So I'm just going to tap off any excess like that. And just starting here. Just above the crease. Just gently going back and forth. Very lovely. So choosing the shade first is going to help all the other colors blend together seamlessly. You always want to go from light to dark when you're creating any eyeshadow look. Here's the future. Perfect. So you can also have your model keep their eye open so that way you know exactly where you're placing the product if they don't have a very prominent crease in their eye. Just here I can see exactly where the colors on that one too. You can see where the color is going to be when she has her eyes open. So that's what we want. And then just going in a circular motion, working out. Almost up towards where we have the tail of her eyebrow here. Do the same on the other side. Again, tapping, getting a little product. And then just going back and forth like that, almost in like a windshield wiper motion. Out, up in that corner towards the tail of the eyebrow, like on the other side. So the next shade, we're going to take a bit of tempura here. We're just going to go right in the corner there. So we're just taking the eyeshadow and just putting it right into the corner of the eye and just bringing it ever so slightly to the center of the lid. So to the other side. And also connecting that corner, inner corner highlight we did earlier. I'm just using flat synthetic brush for this. Any kind of flat eyeshadow brush will work perfectly for that. Okay. And then taking more of a pencil brush, something like this, we're going to use that to define the crease. So I'm going to take this color in Rustic, gently tap that onto the brush, <laughs> oh, the orange smoke. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have her keep her eyes closed so I can see exactly where that crease is. If anything, you can use your hands to go lift your model's eyelids. So just going right where we have that orange soda shade from before, I'm just going to add in rustic and then just kind of tap that in there. So this brush we're using more to apply the color as opposed to blending it out. And then taking a fluffy brush. 
So there's something tapered and fluffy like this. This is one from Tarte. I'm going to take that color and then just blend it into the orange soda shade using circular motions. to take rose pink right here so the shimmery shade you can use your finger as well because sometimes shimmery shades will pick up better on a natural bristle brush or your fingers use that and then we're just going to go right in the center and then just kind of tap it into the transition and crease shade we just applied Just kind of dragging it down towards the lash line so that we cover all the skin there. I'm just going back with a little more in the center there just to intensify it a bit. blending in the shades from before. So just like that. I'm going to take this little brush by Morphe. So it's basically like the brush we used before except a little bit shorter. And we're going to use that just for a little bit more defined blending. So I'm going to take Cypress Umber, same shade we use for Paige's eyebrows. And I'm just going to very lightly just go through the crease with that. And just open your eyes, Paige. Perfect. So then, I'm just going to fold up here so I can go right where that crease is. And I'm just going in a circular motion just to the midpoint of the eye. A little more product on the brush. And I'm just kind of going in a V motion, so a sideways V. So going from that crease here and then just sweeping down to the lash line. Okay, and then using a flat synthetic brush, I'm going to go into the shade Fairy. Just take that and then just go right in the center, just over that rose color and kind of carve out that crease there. I'm just tapping it. And the last step for the eyeshadow on the top there, I'm going to take bronze. I'm just going to put that on my finger and then just put that 
right in the front of the eye here. Just because it's one of those very shimmery shades, we want to get the full color payoff, so using your fingers can be the best. And using that same synthetic brush from before that we applied fairy with, I'm just going to take that bronze color and just bring it down into the corner of the eye, very lightly and blend. Taking the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, just be going along her upper water, her upper waterline with that. I'm just opening your eyes closed. <laughs> we're actually going to do it with your eyes closed, so we're just going to go and just press it into the lash line there. Don't worry about it being too perfect because you're going to blend it out with the brush after. Just make it a little thicker on the end. So I'm taking a different angle brush, but the same brush, um, the eyebrows. This is how we're going to create that perfect wing. So I'm taking the eyeliner, just blending it along the lash line. You have about a minute to play with this eyeliner before it dries down. So just bringing that down to the corner. And then we're going to do a gentle flick just to wing it out here. This is a great technique too to use if you're unaware or unaware. <laughs> Afraid to use liquid eyeliner. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Just doing the same thing and just blending it out. shade I'm using rustic under the eye so just taking that on a little smudge brush from Sephora and just do that so thin we're just gonna go right along the lash line with that color Are your eyes okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
And then I'm going to go into the shade Sultry. Actually, I'm just going to put on probably a little bit of Fix Plus, Fix Plus on my brush. This will just help adhere the shadow to the brush and make it appear more metallic and foiled. I'm just going to go right in the corner here. And just tap that gently along the bottom lash line and just kind of blend it up into that way you created earlier. And the final step is going to be lips. So I'm going to take this lip liner pencil by NYX and it's in the shade Nude Spice. And just line. And if you want to overline, the only part you should be doing it is in the center and a little bit underneath because doing it underneath will create that shadow that you have fuller lips. Anything else will just look a little too crazy. Just following her lip line here, and then just for the bottom lip, just going a little bit below. Just to give an ombre effect, I'm going to use a synthetic lip brush and just take a new color. And I'm using a bit of Bubbly by Mariah Carey, the MAC collection. Any nude will do. Myth is a good color by MAC to use. Or any Anastasia nude. And I'm just going in the center of the lip here and then just tapping that and blending it into the liner. And the last step, we're going to do mascara, so I'm going to have Paige do this. Right. And last step, I'm going to do a bit of brow gel just to keep them in place. So I'm just going to brush that through. And this is the Benefit Free Brow Tones in shade number four. Okay. And... There's the finished look. 
I'll have you close your eyes, Paige. Beautiful. 